In this example problem, we'll calculate the pH of a buffer solution after a strong base is added. Our buffer solution is 1.2 molar sodium fluoride and 2 molar hydrofluoric acid. And we're going to add 9.721 grams of magnesium hydroxide to 1 liter of the buffer solution. The first thing we need to do to solve this problem is to write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. Our magnesium hydroxide will combine with the hydrofluoric acid to produce water and magnesium fluoride ions. We'll treat this as a limiting reagent problem. To solve the limiting reagent problem, we'll set up a table. Our first row contains the starting moles of each of our reactants. To calculate how many moles of magnesium hydroxide we have, we convert grams of magnesium hydroxide into moles of magnesium hydroxide using dimensional analysis. The 58.326 grams of magnesium hydroxide per one mole is its molar mass. And we find that we have 0.1667 moles of magnesium hydroxide. To calculate how many moles of hydrofluoric acid we have, we can also use dimensional analysis. We have one liter of buffer solution, and for each liter of buffer solution, we have two moles of hydrofluoric acid, as indicated by the two molar HF. So we have a total of two moles of hydrofluoric acid. To begin with, we don't have any magnesium ions, but we will have fluoride anions. To calculate the moles of fluoride anions, we'll use dimensional analysis. We have one liter of buffer solution, and each liter of buffer solution contains 1.2 moles of sodium fluoride. One mole of sodium fluoride contains one mole of fluoride anions. So if we multiply this out, we'll have 1.2 moles of fluoride anions in our buffer solution. Now we have to determine how many reactions can be performed given each of our quantities of reactants. This row in our table takes into account the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. For magnesium hydroxide, we have 0.1667 moles of magnesium hydroxide, and to carry out one reaction, as indicated by the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation, we need one mole of magnesium hydroxide. So we can carry out 0.1667 reactions. For hydrofluoric acid, we have two moles of HF, and each reaction requires two moles of HF, so we can perform one reaction. The limiting reactant will be the smallest number in the reaction row. So our limiting reactant will be magnesium hydroxide. So when we calculate the change in moles for this reaction, we'll use 0.1667. To fill in the change in moles row, we'll take 0.1667 times the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. For magnesium hydroxide, it will be 0.1667 times 1. And because magnesium hydroxide is a reactant, we're going to lose 0.1667 moles of magnesium hydroxide. For HF, we take 0.1667 times 2, because 2 is the coefficient for HF in the balanced chemical equation. And because it's a reactant, the change will be negative. So we'll lose 0.3333 moles of HF in this reaction. For the change in magnesium 2 plus ions, we'll take 0.1667 times 1, which is the coefficient for magnesium 2 plus. And because magnesium 2 plus is a product, we're going to gain 0.1667 moles of magnesium. For the change in fluoride anions, 
we have 0 0.1667 times 2 because the coefficient for fluoride ions in the balanced chemical equation is 2. And because fluoride anions are a product, we're going to gain 0 0.3333 moles of fluoride anions. To calculate the ending moles row, we'll add together the starting moles row with the change in moles row. For magnesium hydroxide, we'll have 0 0.1667 subtract 0 0.1667, which is 0. So we've used up all of our limiting reactants. For HF, we have 2 moles subtract 0 0.3333, so we'll end up with 1.667 moles of HF. Likewise, we can fill in magnesium ions and fluoride ions. To calculate the pH, we can use the henderson hasselbalch equation, where pH equals the pKa plus the log of the fluoride anion concentration divided by the concentration of HF. That will equal the negative log of our Ka value, which is 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth, plus the log of our fluoride anion concentration, which is 1.533 moles, divided by our one liter of solution, which turns out to be 1.533 molar, divided by our HF concentration, which is 1.667 moles of HF divided by 1 liter of solution, which ends up being 1.667 molar HF. If you put these into your calculator, you should get 3.11. So the pH of our buffer solution should be 3.11 after we've added 9.721 grams of magnesium hydroxide.